Einstein was also able to derive the entropy without resorting to Lagrange equations. He derived the entropy also by considering end systems. So we can sketch the situation like this. We have a system sigma 1, then we have a system sigma 2, and we have n of this, sigma n. These systems can also exchange heat. So they interact and they might exchange heat. First, Einstein rewrote the differential of the energy, so a small change of the energy of the overall system. So in this case, the energy represents the energy of all the systems. We have some change due to some parameters that he called lambda. So we have d over d lambda d lambda, and we have to sum over lambda. You have to think of lambda as lambda 1, lambda 2, dot, 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 lambda n. These are called the adiabatic parameters. Basically, it means that the energy in this case does not change because there is a heat exchange between the systems. And then we have some other change in the energy, which Einstein rewrote like this, sum over nu, dE over dP nu, dP nu. Einstein stated that this part of the change in the energy is due to heat. He called this dQ the change due to heat. Then he rewrote the distribution of the overall system like this, e to the some parameter that he called c minus 2he, and I have already discussed what this parameter means. It is related to the Boltzmann constant, whereas this is the energy, and then we have to integrate over dp1 dot 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 dpn. So I'm calling the phase state variables p1, p2, dot, 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 pn. So in other videos, I labeled the variables like this, p1, dot, 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 pn. Then we also had q1, dot, 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 qn. It doesn't really matter if we just call them q1, q2, qn, or p1, p2, pn, or like this, p1, p2, pn, q1, q2, qn, for example. In this case, I am highlighting the difference between the variables related to positions and the variables related to momenta. But it doesn't really matter. In this case, I'm just considering this set of variables, P1, P2, Pn, which take into account coordinates and momenta. Whereas C here is just a constant with respect to this distribution. And this is equal to 1. So C is just useful to normalize the distribution. And then what Einstein does in one of his papers is that he considers a small change in the distribution. So with a small change in the distribution, this can be written as integral over E, C plus DC. So the distribution changes and this parameter C also changes. Then we have minus 2 H plus DH multiplied by E plus, in this case, the energy changes only due to adiabatic interaction. The distribution only depends on the lambda parameters and heat is a macroscopic effect that you don't see inside the distribution. And therefore the change here is the sum over lambda dE over d lambda d lambda dP1 dot 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 dPn. And this is still equal to 1. Now if we take the difference between these two equations we can rewrite this as integral over dc minus 2 differential of h multiplied by e minus 2 h summation over lambda de d lambda d lambda e to the c minus 2 h e dp1 dot 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 dpn and this should be equal to 0. Now, for a generic distribution, this integrand here should be equal to zero, and therefore we get dc minus 2dh times e minus 2h summation over lambda dE d lambda d lambda equal to zero. We consider this equation together with the one that we wrote here. So this equation can also be rewritten as dq minus de 
equal to minus summation over lambda d e over d lambda d lambda and this is the equation that I'm going to rewrite below here we have dq minus d e equal to minus summation over lambda d e over d lambda d lambda now we can put these two together by inserting this expression here in place of this one so we get dc minus 2dh times e minus 2h de plus 2h dq equal to zero from here we get the differential of c minus 2he is equal to minus 2h differential of q which can also be written as minus 1 over 2kt dq because remember that h is equal to 1 over 4 kt so this one can also be written like this we have differential of q over temperature equal to 2k differential of energy divided by 2kt minus c and therefore we have that the differential of the entropy which is just this one here is equal to the differential of energy over temperature minus 2k times c now from this expression here for the distribution we can derive c because e to the minus c is just equal to integral e to the minus 2 h e dp1 dot 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 dpn therefore minus c is just the logarithm of that integral and therefore we can rewrite the expression for the entropy like this entropy equal to e over t plus 2k times the logarithm of integral e to the minus e over 2kt dp1 dot 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 dpn plus a constant and this is another approach that Einstein used to derive an expression for the entropy without resorting to Lagrangian mechanics